going on, dude? How you doing? Anything you want to say to uh, start off this YouTube video, man? You want to do a cool transition in three, two, one. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can set the camera up. It might be a little sketchy. But is it gonna stay balanced? All right, guys. If this falls out of my coffee jug cabinet shelf thingy, I think we're gonna be good to go. If this falls over, I do apologize. But real quick, guys, we got a good old cup of Joe here. We're about to sit down, have some breakfast, and then we're gonna get over to the gym for an awesome chest workout. Then I'm gonna come out. I think we're gonna do a commentary today. Like I said, I want to get some more fitness stuff up on the channel for you guys as we're starting this thing back up. Um, so I figured we'll kind of go into a really in-depth commentary. I have an awesome chest workout planned out for you guys as well. Um, so I'm very excited for you guys to see this, and I'm very excited for you guys to be able to give this a workout a try as well. So with that being the case, guys, morning coffee time. This is an absolute freaking calorie saver, guys. I'm a huge fan of having my coffee like as white as can be. I cannot drink coffee black. I need some type of flavoring in there. Um, so Taylor and I are a huge fan of the Coffee Mate Italian Sweet Cream Sugar-Free Coffee Creamer. Now they have sugar-free or fat-free. Sugar-free is always going to be the green label here. Fat-free is going to be the blue label. Um, honestly, both of those in terms of the sugar-free or the fat-free is going to be much better than regular creamer in terms of, again, watching your calories. So this is my absolute go-to here. I'll mix two tablespoons into my coffee, and then that's going to be my creamer. Now, as for the, I would say, artificial sweetener in terms of, again, the sugar, because, again, I like it sweet. If my coffee eats super, super sweet, I ain't going to be drinking it, man. I'll be honest with you guys. I like it really sweet. So... We got the Truvia. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to focus on this. There we go. So this is the sugar packets that we use all the time. So I do two tablespoons of the Coffee Mates sugar-free creamer. Italian sweet cream is freaking awesome. And then French vanilla is another one we always use. And then I get two packets of the Truvia, pour them into my coffee, stir that up a little bit. And like I said, bada bing, bada boom. Perfect, guys. So that's going to be the coffee thing. And I'm sorry that was a little sketchy. I literally had you guys balance like right up here on this beam. So it could have fallen over at any moment. And if you come over here... You guys know my breakfast already. We got a plate full of eggs. We got one turkey sausage by Jimmy Dean. Phenomenal macros. I talked about them on my last video, but seriously, awesome macros. You guys are looking at kind of spruce up your breakfast just a little bit by adding a little bit of a side dish there. And then we got a Thomas bagel with, I can't believe it's not butter, um, on that bad boy. So we're going to be putting this bad boy down. We're going to be heading over to the gym, like I said, for a little bit of a chest commentary. I'll see you guys there. What's going on, guys? And welcome to today's chest workout. I am super excited to bring you guys along for this one today. I promise you guys, this is an absolute killer. And I'm so so, so excited for you guys to be able to give this one a try as well. Um, so for the first workout here, you guys are going to be seeing the incline dumbbell bench press. Now this is an absolute staple. And I promise you guys, if you're looking to have a big chest, this is you know a big movement that you guys need to throw in your routine. Um, whether that be the incline barbell bench press, the incline dumbbell bench press, I promise you guys, if you guys start putting this into your routine, you guys will of course start seeing those chest gains that you guys are after. So for this first exercise right here, we're going to be doing five sets of six to eight reps for the rep range there. Now guys, I will say, choose a weight that you guys can move correctly. It's one of those things, guys, when I see people perform dumbbell exercises, they freaking fly through them, especially when it comes to bench presses, in terms of, again, just really going quick. Um, I'm a huge advocate in terms of, again, time under tension and really focusing on those peak contractions throughout the movement. Um, so I really like to have a weight that's still on the heavier side, but a weight that's gonna be allowing me to kind of take things slow, really focus on those contractions throughout. So like I said, guys, five sets, six, eight reps, and it's gonna be a 90 second rest period between the sets here. All right, guys, we had a little bit of a superset action coming at you guys next for this one. So we got the incline dumbbell fly, supersetting that with the incline dumbbell hex press. Now, I love, love combining these two because when you do the fly movement, of course, it's going to be a full stretch across the chest. And then when you come back in for that incline double hex press movement there, it's really going to be targeting that inner chest. So you're getting the best of both worlds with this one. So for the flies, we're going to be doing three sets here, 12 reps, so a little bit more volume here. And then you're going to be sticking to that weight when you go forth with the hex press movement, which is going to be three sets to failure reps. So like I said, guys, three sets. 12 reps with the flies, going right into the hex press to failure, and then you're gonna rest for 60 seconds after you finish that last rep of the hex press, and you're gonna do it again for another two rounds. So like I said, awesome combination here. If you wanna go forth and do this on the incline bench, that's great. You could do it on the flat bench, you could do it on the decline bench, depending on what muscle group you wanna target for the pec that day. But like I said, this is an awesome combination to throw into your routine. All right, so we head on over to the pec deck machine next for a little bit of a volume killer, guys. Get ready for this one, because this one is a freaking burnout. So pretty much what we're gonna do here is you're gonna start with both handles coming in, ultimately, okay? You're gonna leave your left arm in as you perform 10 reps with your right arm. As soon as you finish that 10th rep with your right arm, you're gonna do 10 reps with your left arm, but you're not done yet. As soon as you finish that 10th 
10th rep there, you need to go back to your right arm for five reps and then you need to go back to your left arm for five reps. I promise you guys, this is an absolute killer. So just be ready for it. Pick a weight that's gonna be able to, of course, get you through the entire set here because this is a big one, this is a long one. So again, um, just be smart about this one. It really does get up to you towards the end there. But like I said, this is an awesome, awesome thing to throw into the middle of the chest routine to kind of burn things out a little bit and also make the, the rest of the workout a good time as well. All right guys, so up next we head on over to the cables for a little bit of a low to high cable crossover. So this is another great exercise that you guys should throw into your routine if you're looking to build up that upper chest. So we did three sets here of 10 to 12 reps and I really want you guys to focus on movement here. So I try not to sway as much because again, when I see people do this exercise, I really see them kind of leaning back and forth and it's rocking all around. And again, it's gonna take the tension off the chest a little bit. So pick a weight that you guys are gonna be able to perform this correctly, of course, and really focus on keeping those arms as close to your body as you guys go throughout this movement and focus on having your knuckles come together as they reach your upper chest chin level as you guys are seeing right now. So like I said, three sets here, 10 to 12 reps, great exercise to throw in there for your upper chest. All right, last but not least, we have one more superset to finish this workout off. So we're gonna do the first exercise, which is gonna be the barbell landmine press, which you're seeing right now. Another great movement that targets that upper chest. So what you guys wanna do here is you really wanna focus on keeping those elbows as close to the body as you guys bring that barbell down to your chest. And as soon as you guys get it down there, it's gonna be a little bit of a touch and go. Boom, you're gonna explode back up and really focus on that mind muscle connection, squeezing that upper chest as you push that barbell away. Um, so we're gonna do three sets here of 12 reps and then you're gonna go immediately into the good old body weight push-ups for an absolute burnout. So like I said, three sets, 12 reps here, the barbell landmine press, and then go right into push-ups till failure. So yeah, this was the uh, chest workout from today. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in one sec. Guys, just like that, the workout is in the books. I'm absolutely shot. So if you guys wanna give that workout a try, I promise you guys it's a good one. Full workout is listed below in the description. But guys, I'm sure you guys saw from the video, we're at a new gym. Your boy signed up for a new gym. It is 24 seven. It is very, very old school, I would say like bodybuilding style vibes in here. It is, again, a little smaller. There is an upstairs over there that has some cardio equipment and a full-on cable, but again, the equipment is all very old school, but I absolutely love it, guys, especially, I'm sure you guys know this already, but I like a gym where there's like literally nobody at. It can like literally just be me, the iron, me just getting after it, like full focus, no distractions, because again, I'm a super friendly guy. I'm a very talkative guy, um, so a lot of like the public gyms around the area here, I literally know everyone at, or just a majority of the people, so it's just a lot of chit-chatting during the workout, and I of course want to focus and get my workout done and be able to get in and get out. So I joined this place, it's called Mountie from Fitness if you guys are local to the area here in South Jersey. 24 seven, like I said, when I come, there's literally nobody in here, um, which is freaking awesome because I can bring my camera, I can set up the full tripod. Um, they give us access to the speakers, so I can just blast my you know, my music on Bluetooth. So it honestly just feels like it's like my gym, which is like, you know, the end goal with this all to be able to open my own spot, which is kind of cool that it kind of gives me these vibes already. But I love it right now because the gyms in New Jersey are freaking going crazy with, of course, the whole COVID situation right now and it's just nice because when there's no one in here I respect the whole mask thing guys I really do and again if someone walks in I will mask up real quick but when there's no one in here it's kind of nice to be able to kind of take it off and not be sitting there doing my steps like <gasps> not being able to breathe but the coolest part about the gym guys wait till you guys see this they hooked it up for me ready they hooked it up so if you guys walk down this hallway right here and you guys come over here if you guys open this door right here it's gonna take you guys right to my kitchen and you guys are probably like Matt there's no chance but let me show you guys Oh, ho, ho, I told you guys, direct access to the kitchen. Seriously, it cannot be any more convenient than that. That's why I joined the gym. But real quick, we got some new protein powder, and I've been absolutely loving it. It's the Rule 1 R1 protein flavor is chocolate fudge. So I got this bad boy last week, and it's been freaking phenomenal. I need a new protein powder, to be honest with you guys. We've been on PE Science for like the last couple of months. Taylor's a big fan of it. I'm a huge fan. I will continue to support them in terms of like literally being the best flavor of protein that I ever have. Huge fan of the cooks and cream from them and then the chocolate peanut butter cup. But I needed something new. So I reached out to the owner of Coalition Nutrition, which is the new company that I'm working with. They're actually a supplement store. So I'll talk more about that in future videos because this is an incredible opportunity for myself to be able to be associated with a store like this. This was definitely like my long-term goal um, just to be with a supplement store like this that literally offers tons and like I literally mean hundreds and hundreds of brands between different of course um, supplements pre-workouts protein powders you know BCAs intras sleep aids like you name it they have it and they have a ton of different brands a ton of different flavors so I was very excited about this so I reached out to James I was like yo brother I need a new I need a new protein powder man I'm struggling we need something new and he sent me this he's like this has been a super popular protein powder this year I'm um, told me to go on like on the website check out the flavors and like literally they were all, all sold out of everything except for the chocolate fudge so I was like all right he was online. This is definitely not staying on the shelves for too long. Um, and it's freaking phenomenal. So I will do a full review out of this, but this has been my go-to, you know, come home, have a protein shake, sit back, relax, 
and just recover. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, guys, we're going to wrap the video up here. Um, it's been a freaking awesome day and just being able to, of course, film yet another YouTube video for you guys. We're on a roll right now, guys. We're on a roll. This is my third video and I think the last week. So I'm doing, I'm doing something right, man. It feels so good to be back on here. But seriously, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit more of a day in the life. Hope you guys enjoyed that workout. Like I said, if you guys want to give that a try, the full thing is linked below in the description. So definitely give that a go. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will have a product review coming out about this bad boy shortly, so stay tuned for that. But if you guys want to check it out, I will have it linked below um, in the description as well. Just go to the coalition link down there, click that, and you guys will be able to shop the site. And the discount code is already implied when you guys click that link. So I save you guys the hassle of typing in my little code, so you guys are all set with that. But um, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.